Only on 10, new details after an undercover Miami-Dade narcotics detective was shot last week. And we are learning the shooting stems from an investigation into corruption at jails. Folks, well, news reporter Annalise Garcia is alive with this exclusive. Christy, Alexis, we've learned that everything that led to that shooting involving a Miami-Dade police narcotics detective stems from a public corruption case that involves the jail system and narcotics. Now, we were expecting to see someone involved in this case, someone who was arrested in that police-involved shooting today in court, but they did reset his uh, case for a later date. A large public corruption investigation is underway involving jails in Dade County, both state and federal, and narcotics. Local 10 has learned that a police-involved shooting where a Miami-Dade narcotics detective was shot is connected to that case. The shooting happened Wednesday afternoon. It was a close call. The bullet grazed his head. Fortunately, he was able to go home and recover. Unfortunately, it's, it's a society we live in, but it's not going to stop us. We're going to keep moving forward because we have a sworn oath to protect our community. Police say this man, 32-year-old Steve Gallon IV, son of Miami-Dade School Board member Steve Gallon III, shot the detective after receiving a call from this guy, Atiba Moore. Moore realized that an undercover officer was trailing his vehicle. Police say he attempted to lose the officer, speeding several times around the block. Moore eventually slammed on the brakes and the officer crashed into the back of his vehicle. As the officer gets out of the car, Gallen fired the shot from behind. Local 10 has learned the encounter that led to the shooting stemmed from that public corruption investigation involving the jail system. Revoke whatever release was in place and hold no bond. Gallen is now facing charges of attempted second degree murder of a police officer. Moore is facing one charge of soliciting murder. His case was called in court today, but set for a later date this month. These three were arrested for allegedly helping Gallen hide from police. They were taken to Dade County Jail, but have since been released. Meanwhile, these two, Gallen and Moore, are facing charges for their crimes over in Dade County. But they were moved to Broward County Jail for holding. Miami-Dade County Corrections had no comment on why. Now, right now, both Moore and Gallen are still sitting behind bars. We were expecting to see more today in court, but his case was reset until the 29th. Still a lot of unanswered questions here, still a lot of information to come, and we'll bring it all to you as soon as we learn more. I'm live in Miami, Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News.